We are very pleased uh, with a very good uh, start of the year with a strong second quarter with 9% growth and a first half uh, growth of 6%. And especially not only about the numbers with the solid growth and the solid uh, profit, but also on the how. Uh, with double digit growth on key segments such as bioenergy, such as food and beverages and human health, such as grain and tech, double digit growth in emerging geographies. And, uh, and it's that momentum and uh, the self-help and also capitalizing on a uh, and the recovery of some of the segments that were hurt uh, or hindered on last year, that we feel confident on uh, narrowing to the upper range our guidance uh, of uh, growth uh, to 4 to 6 percent and also on our EBIT margin to 26. So, very pleased uh, with the start of the year. Esther, also some news away from earnings this morning about a 2 billion Danish kroner investment into advanced protein solutions. Uh, this is a strategic opportunity as you describe it. Just run us through mm. what this business does exactly and what it brings to your existing portfolio. Excellent. Uh, we are, I mean in Novozymes we have a very strong purpose, make the world a better place with biology. And if you look at the society and one of the most pressing needs is food nutrition, how to feed a growing world and how to feed it sustainably. And that's what we have been doing so far across many segments in our portfolio in ag, in animal health and nutrition and in food and beverages. And now with this investment in a protein, alternative proteins, we including in our portfolio, expanding the power of the biohouse uh, that we have and bring in a value added novel proteins to re respond to the very demanding and increasing need of plant-based alternatives to provide sustainable nutrition. Yes, they're very interesting that bioenergy seems to be uh, back in the black here. What, what's yeah. happening in this space? Because it's been a challenging few quarters. <laughs> It's been challenging, yes, last year when we saw the decline, uh, mainly in the North American market, driven by the drop on gasoline demand. The good news is that we see a society's openings, particularly in the US, the increased demand, where we follow with the industry and we stay close to our customer and we're capitalizing and capturing that growth. But also we see a strong growth in emerging geographies, particularly in Latin America, where, where we see uh, our solutions penetrating and, and winning share and uh, delivering also a strong contributor of the 16% year-over-year growth. We made two new launches uh, this, this quarter of this uh, key segment that, again, it's this full solution space, the one that we bring, that helps our customers to maximize the yield, to maximize the return and uh, lead to, the, to bioethanol, contributing to the society sustainably in the most profitable way for them. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersetti and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.